Well, oil is still showing up on local beaches, but the number of cleanup workers is being cut back. Now, according to Escambia County Commissioners, 140 workers were laid off from operations on Perdido Key and Johnson Beach just this past week. At the same time, more submerged oil is being found in the form of underwater tar mats. Channel 3's Laurie Bernstein spoke to one of the local researchers about what that could mean for the beachgoers in the upcoming summer season. What, what was his take on this, Laurie? Well, it was a very interesting one, and it really depends on a lot of factors. As you can see behind me, the sand sharks and the heavy cleanup equipment is still working out here on the beach. And considering that this was the biggest oil spill in American history, we fared pretty okay. I mean, the sand is still gorgeous as ever, and the water is still gorgeous green and blue. But if you look really close, there are still tar balls and tar patties out there washing ashore in different places. And scientists say it could be that way for years to come. Really, you can't rely on BP to, uh, man, look at all this oil. Dr. Richard Snyder stops in the middle of his sentence to point out the diamond quarter-sized tar balls found in the waves on Casino Beach. It's not fresh oil, just some of the leftovers from the summer that he says have been preserved underwater. So any place the sand is very dynamic, there's a good chance we're going to have buried oil. And that includes these little sandbars that are just off the, off the beach here. We just don't know how much is out there, where it is. Submerged oil has been confirmed in two areas off Escambia of County, behind Eden Condominiums on Perdido Key, and off Barrancas Beach inside Pensacola Pass. Those underwater tar mats are continuing to produce large tar balls and patties on the beaches nearby. Yeah, this is still loaded with PAHs, but it's cold right now, so it's not dissolving into the water very much. Once it gets warm again, and the sun comes out and bakes this stuff, it'll start melting again. The question is, will that oil dissolve enough into the water to cause a human health risk? Snyder can't answer that until he knows how much submerged oil is still out there. EPA and NOAA had originally created a plan to search for other areas of submerged oil, but Snyder says none of that survey data has been published, if in fact it has ever been collected. It is extremely difficult to do comprehensive surveys like this to try to find this stuff. And the more eyes there are looking for this material, the better, the better off we will be. Now, Snyder says the public can help because if you see tar balls or tar patties washing up at any of the local beaches, it's a really good indicator that there might be a submerged tar mat out at that sand bar nearby. Now, we did talk to BP on the phone just now, and they do recognize that scientists are correct in this matter, that there might be more tar mats. They are working on a plan to start looking in different areas and trying to get that submerged oil out of the water. Reporting live from Pensacola Beach, I'm Lori Bernstein, Channel 3 News.